What's going on guys, and welcome back to the 50th episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. So this episode, I don't really have anything special planned really, I think I'm just gonna um, have it just be a normal normal episode. Uh, maybe for episode 100, <laughs> if I ever got there, which I plan on, which I plan on doing. Um, so yeah, so for this episode, I guess, um, not really sure, um, I suppose I could actually like for real try on like Samson, because that one time... <laughs> that um, I tried didn't go too well. So I think let's try this. Let me try with Eden. Don't know about this. It's all random so not sure if it'll be... Okay with a fire rate alone it doesn't really spell good things out for this run but hopefully we can make something work. Here's the seed F9, X8, R9, 7D. We have um, Little Chubby, um, the Bible, and some interesting hair going on here with Ace of Clubs trinket. Um, Okay, Mr. Boom. It's an okay item, I guess. I think I'm gonna stick with the Bible, though, it's for that flight. Every six rooms, it also kills uh, Mom. So that could be handy if we don't necessarily have the um, have a good suite of items going for us. Um, but yeah, episode 50. Um, kind of excited about this one. No particular reason why, I just kind of, you know, it's a milestone. I guess that's why, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, here's the 50 more, I guess. Alright. Um, hopefully there's no frame issues like there was in the last episode. Uh, that would be quite not good. <laughs> um, I'll probably have to restart my computer again. Or just close eyes and try again, but... I'm not sure why that was happening in the last episode. I, maybe there was like, maybe there's like a process running that was using up too much CPU. I don't really know. I may have to investigate that if it keeps happening. Um, but I feel like it was happening a little bit, like a couple seconds, a couple seconds ago. But it seems to not be happening right now, so I think that's that's good. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, we definitely use a tier rate upgrade. That's like a that's like a must that we need right now. Perhaps a speed upgrade as well. Our damage is fairly okay. It's actually really good. <laughs> What am I talking about? It's really, really good for Eden start. That's for sure. So we cannot take damage for this floor as well as the next floor. And so that could be quite troublesome, but I think we have everything under control at this point. Uh, no damage was taken yet. And there's a, there's a tears upgrade. Uh, minus seven. That's honestly, that's a huge help. Um, as you probably can see. Alright, so we just gotta get through this floor and we have the steps unlocked. Obviously, I'm gonna continue with this run and try to get uh, some more post-it note uh, completion marks going on. But, yeah, another character unlocked is definitely, um, something good to have. One step closer to that 1 million percent achievement. And, yeah. Okay, what's in our item room? Dead onion, okay. Um, this doesn't affect our tier rate, it affects our shot speed though, so that's kind of um, a downside of it. But other than that, it's piercing shots. I just felt a little frame dip there. Sorry that I'm talking about this a lot, but it's kind of distracting. Um, anyway, it's piercing shots, as well as a spectral tier, so that's... It's pretty good as like an all-in-one item, in a way, except it makes it so you shoot relatively slowly. Which is kind of a... Why'd I use that? Which is, um, relatively bad, but, you know, it could be good it could be good in a lot of circumstances, such as, like, clearing out a bunch of enemies in one spot, you can, like, pierce through all of them, so that's definitely a big plus this item has going on for it. Um, so yeah, Justice, I like how those items all lined up, they usually go all crazy. Okay, just got, not get hidden here, and we should probably be good, if the boss is, like, Monstro or something, we should be fine. Okay, um, the haunts, okay, I'm suddenly feeling a lot more, a lot, a lot more, a lot less confident about not taking damage, but hopefully we'll be able to pull through and get this Samson a lock, that's basically the main goal of this, of this episode here, obviously to get other completion marks as well, as I said earlier, but Samson's probably the thing we want to get the most. 
here. Oh, that was very close, but good thing we got a lot of damage done. What? To the haunts. Oh, jeez. Yeah, definitely like, use a speed upgrade. That would be very nice. There we go. Uh, Road Rage. Or is our speed upgrade? Um, I don't think I want to risk it and take something there. So we should get the Samson unlocker here. You unlock Samson. Nice. So that's definitely a good thing to have. That's for sure. Um, so yeah, we can start with those completion marks probably next episode. And uh, work from there. Okay. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about that one. Now we can actually start taking damage and not feel bad about it. Obviously that's not what I should do, but... You know, I, I could. Although there are other achievements that you can not take damage for both iterations of floors to get an achievement. I, my frames are like very like dipping a lot here. I might, after this floor, like restart my computer. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this is happening. Like I have a feeling it's my record, my um, editing uh, software. Cause well, like that was bad, but um, I have a feeling it's my editing software just because uh, when I close it, it still leaves some files still running in the background. I'm not really sure why. Um, so I'm guessing it might be those, although I haven't really ever noticed high like, CPU usage from those from those uh, processes after closing the software, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. Uh, so Mom's Eye, it's pretty solid actually. Our luck is not the greatest, but it's, it seems to be happening fairly frequently. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to cut right here and I'll be back uh, once I have everything running up uh, again. Alright, and we're back, so hopefully that fixed the issue. Um, I'm not really sure what we call it, um, other than the recording soft, the editing software I use. Um, I might try to like make a script or something like that that automatically like closes all the processes it leaves open after I close it. Um, to run like when I close the software. Um, so hopefully that fixes it, but other than that I'm not quite sure what would be causing these frame dips uh, every so often. Because the game usually runs like fine, and like when I'm playing by myself and not recording on a different um, save file, it never does that. So, and when I record, I usually like fairly like um, like afterwards. I usually like restart my computer. Like, I usually restart it soon after <laughs> recording. It took me a while to find the words there. Um, so it's probably that's probably what it is. Um, so yeah. I'll try, yeah, that was bad. Um, I'll try to like, make a, I'll try to make like a, um, script or something that makes it so when I close the software, it also closes the, the processes it, um, leaves behind, because I'm not really sure where that happens. I might have to Google a little bit how to do that, because I know it's definitely possible with, like, you know, the task scheduler or something on Windows, or something like that, something in that vein. Um, so yeah, I'll try to make something happen there. If I can't, then I'll post on like the forms for the thing and try to get something sorted out, but that's not of your concern. <laughs> um, unless, you know, someone watching this happens to be a developer for uh, Kaden Live, that's the editing software I use. But other than that, I doubt that's could ever be the case. Um, other than that, I'll Work something out of my own. Um, alright. Uh, yeah. Shub. I think I might use the Bible here, right? Yeah, because Dead Onion gives spectral tears, and I can just shoot through the rock and hide over it. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Just baiting him in and just going back. That's just classic. Don't know why that's classic, but it's classic. Now it is. Uh, tears up. That's actually really nice to see, especially being at 9. Um, I think, think we're gonna head down. Alright, Catacombs 2. Uh, let's do this. Lots of consumables, but not a lot of good stuff. Oh, that was just bad play. Um, okay. Is this guy gonna do anything else? Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, oh, hi. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, mm. die, please. Okay, one more boss. Oh, no. This guy could be the end of me. 
maybe. Little Chub seems to be doing a decent amount of damage. Well, not, not a lot, it seems to be like relatively easily eating away his, dam his health. I don't know what that means, but thank goodness for the um, HP on the ground, or, or else we'd, we'd be in a pretty dire situation right now, um, all things considered. But I just gotta do a couple more seconds. There we go. Alright, bomb problem, my troubles, and those consumables in the chest, I guess. Um, which is pretty much the reward in and of itself, because you have to do the room in order to be able to leave. But anyway. Oh, this one's looking pretty solid so far, you know. Our damage is still um, what it was at when we first started the run, but no one ever said no one ever said that was poor, you know. Our damage is fine. I mean, obviously we could use some upgrades in the future, but as it stands right now, our damage is... That, okay, <laughs> I just walked into him. Um, our damage is fine, really, you know. If we get hit here, it's all over, but other than that, it's fine. That could have been a really bad situation there. That would not have been good. <laughs> like, walked right into the line of fire. Uh, that was not a good idea. Okay. Oh, hell. <laughs> in this situation, in this specific situation, that was a really good pill. Not to say it can't be good in other situations, but in that specific situation, that's a really good pill. Especially um, when the falling room is this one, where all things could um, go wrong. All these mushrooms, that champion guy. Oh, oh, <laughs> there's no way I was getting out of that one, that's for sure. No way. Okay, use this. Yeah, so we're not in a good spot here, you guys can tell. You know, we're not looking good health-wise, not good, looking good um, damage-wise, sort of. Pretty much everything's good besides our health. That's pretty much the main crutch of the situation. Um, yeah, that's basically what it comes down to. <laughs> uh, so if we can buy a Spirit Heart in the shop, I think that's going to be um, something we were going to want to do. Um, there, I got my trick it makes it so there's always reroll machines in here. Oh, that was very nice. Nice damage up. Um, so hopefully the Spirit Heart in here, there is, and there's reroll machine as well, so we might be able to roll into another one. I think that's something we're gonna want to try to make happen here. Restock. Um, yeah, <laughs> definitely gonna like try to uh, get that. It's gonna be something nice to have. Guys, relax. I saw that pill was. Um, I believe um, there are two of them in that room earlier on. I wanted to use my the Bible items to go get it, but now that I know it's a relax, it's probably not worth it. Um. Unless the poops happen to give me, you know, five dimes. Which is probably unlikely, you know. Probably something that won't happen. Um, so yeah, our health's looking slightly, ever so slightly better. Um, our damage, obviously, is a little better as well. So that's always nice to see. Almost six damage. I didn't actually think it was that high. I thought it was like 5.2 or something. No, 5.74. That's really nice to see. Um... Yeah, we probably need a little bit more for the later floors, but right now it looks to be um, okay for the situation that we're in. Um, Alright. Okay, hopefully this uh, challenger mess something that we want, you know? Um, sometimes these rooms can have some good things in them. Red chests are, can be good. There's a dime I was talking about earlier, not necessarily... <laughs> from our great chests, from which I was mentioning it from, but, you know, it's always good to see a dime, <laughs> no matter the source, unless, you know, it's the only, unless you're picking it up, makes it so you have to do boss rush. Boss rush, um, yeah, that's probably a time where you don't want to pick up a dime, but other than that, you know, a dime is probably something you want to have. Tick, on the other hand, is probably something you don't want to have unless you have the smelter active item from the shop. You know, the tick, in case you don't know what it is, I believe it um, makes it so all bosses have like, start with like 25% less health, but you can't get rid of the trinket. It's like a literal like 
tick, if you will. Um, it's not as good as it sounds, trust me. It's, it's really not. <laughs> um, it usually is not worth it to have, unless you can obviously smelt it like I said earlier. But uh, yeah, there's, there's usually, on, a, on, a, on a, any given run, there's usually a trinket that would surpass it in quality. Um, but if you're, for example, um, in the last room of the run, found the tick, you're like, okay, fine, I'll take it. Just to make the boss, like, ever so slightly easier at the end, but other than that, it's probably never really worth the pickup because you can't drop it. And here's a great example of I took the tick. I won't be able to take cancer here. And it's a minus two fire rate. So, yeah, that's, that just goes to show. If you pick up the tick, you can't pick up these cool trinkets, unless you have, of course, items that allow you to hold two trinkets. Or, as I said before, numerous times on uh, the smelter um, active item. And now we're suddenly seeing a lot of trinkets. I don't know what's going on here. Is the game the game turn on voice recognition again? I guess you know no, the game does not actually have voice recognition. I'm just joking. Um, things have happened in the past that would lead me to believe it does, but it does not. You know, I'm going to pick it up because it contributes to the transformation. And, okay. Another book that contributes to Bookworm. Wow. The game heard me. I said transformation, and it was like, okay, here's the transformation item. That item contributes to Beelzebub, Be 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 but we don't want it. It's not that good. I mean, it's good, but I feel like I get something better. That's okay. You know, you fire a pimple shot, I believe it does, like, extra damage, but I don't think we need it. Tech 2, that's a damage down, but you fire, like, a straight beam of technology. I don't think we need it, especially because the damage down. Daddy Long Legs, that's, that's a good item. Yeah, that's a pretty solid item. <laughs> yeah. Um, it as, you, um it, as, you, as you can see, it stops down on enemies. That's pretty powerful. We never did get shop refresh, or um, restock, I mean, last floor. Which is kind of a bummer, you know? I mean, that would be kind of nice, especially when I plan on purchasing lots of solar arts later in the run. Or, not later in the run, like, fairly in the now in the run. <laughs> um... Uh, so that's kind of a bummer, but we should be okay. Of course, we get a soul hearts there. That's obviously the game just saying I hate you. And this is really, this is really good. I don't. I'm very tempted to take Satanic Bible. I really am. Cause the health regen. I think I might just take it. It gave us Bookworm, which is really nice. We fire two tears every once in a while. I'm not sure if it depends on luck or not. I'd imagine it does. Wait, I want to see something. Okay, I was thinking maybe all luck things for tears happen at the same time, so if you fired a double shot, it would also do the mom's eye effect, but as you can see here, um, I'm firing a single shot sometimes, and it's also doing the mom's eye for those, so I guess that ruins my theory. Uh, anyway, I think we have to take Bible here just because the health regen is going to be very important for the future. Sure, the Bible is good for killing mom that much faster, but the fact that we have Bookworm um, just will make that um, endeavor so much easier anyway. So I don't think it's going to be necessary to have that item. It's an angel room. Good thing we have bombs. Also, going to get to it. This this room generation really has to be fixed, in my opinion. You can't get to there unless you have a bomb. Uh, I'm going to take this because it basically gives us half of what um, the Bible did. Um, flight. Also, give us special tears, but. Uh, Dead Onion already gave us that, so it's basically just half of what the Bible gave in this specific uh, situation. So I think that's, that's that's a pretty good deal, you know, for free especially. <laughs> Technically for the cost of a bomb, but if the boss room didn't generate like that, it wouldn't cost a bomb, so... No one to blame, but... The devs, I guess? No. <laughs> what? Anyway. Um... Okay, uh, so our stats right now, as they stand right now, are pretty, you know, they're pretty solid. Um, our speed is more or less seemingly average, you know. We can use, it, we, we can use an upgrade, but definitely, well obviously you can go to two, but um, we can use an upgrade, you know. I'm not feeling slow, but I am feeling like there could be a little more of a boost we could be having. Um, our damage is... It's okay, you know, at this point in the game especially, it's okay. Um, definitely could use a boost for the later floors. What is this? 
room? <laughs> I've never seen this room before, this is crazy. Okay. Um, guess I'll put a bomb down here, try to get a black heart or two. Nothing. Um, our damage is good, but I definitely like use a boost for later floors. We did get a black heart, that's kind of nice. I was really hoping that would be that. I was thinking, if this tower card, I'm mean, so happy it, it actually is. Okay, we lost the black heart, but another one's right here. Um, as I was saying, our damage is good, but definitely could be improved for later floors. Oh, this is just amazing. It matches our expression perfectly, almost. Um. So yeah, so that's going. I guess I, I've never seen this room before. This is kind of an interesting room. I mean, not really. It's kind of an overpowered room, but I'm just saying, interesting to disguise the fact that I like it. And I don't want it to ever not be there, unless I don't have keys, of course, which is probably a situation I'd be in a lot, considering the fact that I don't have any now. Although causation does not equal correlation, is that how it goes? Correlation is not equal causation, something like that. You know, one of those things. Anyway, um, we definitely want some more keys to go back uh, to there. Should I get those chests? Maybe, they, maybe even that uh, eternal chest, because that's probably something that could have a lot of good stuff in us in store for us. You usually need a lot of keys for those, because if you don't know those chests, those eternal chests, those like white um, angelic chests, as some people call them, I think. Um, when you open them, there's a chance that they will close, um, or not close them, um, open, and not give you not give you anything, or open then. Give you something that close back up, and you can reopen it with another key. So those chests could be pretty worthwhile, except if they give you, like, say, an item. Um, nothing else happens; it just ends right there. So um, I think it'd be a little hard on this demon judgment. Um, so those chests can be pretty worthwhile if you're lucky, <laughs> but um, we need obviously the keys to make that all worth it. It will make it happen. So, um, yeah, that's basically why I want to get those keys. Gave me something nice. That's a pretty decent item, actually. Contract for below. I was kind of hoping I would go to half a red heart so I can get in here, but that's that's fine. I can see forever, okay. You know what? I was really hoping there would be a secret room here, because I think we can get into the challenge room now from this room. We cannot. Okay, so I forgot. It actually is closed off on the side as well. Why is this? This looks like this gate is too high up. I'm gonna leave it come back and see if it lowers. This looks like it's too high up. I don't know. Am I going crazy? I feel like it should be like more centered. The lower down. I don't know. Um. So yeah, the piercing shot is definitely helping a lot with our damage output. Um, in case you can't tell, it's allowing us to hit multiple targets and with one uh, tier or two in the case that double shot. Uh, activates, but um, see, that's definitely a big positive for us. The devil. Um, don't think we really want that. I suppose there's no reason why we shouldn't take it since we have death and we could just use it on any room <laughs> just to get it out of there as well as clear the room in most situations. Yeah. Oh, this room is perfect. Free solar as well. Uh, let's check the shop. Uh, more options. Or there's options, I should say. Didn't mean to really pick that up, but I think that's good in the end. Actually, I probably should have used the key I had on hand before doing that. But actually, no, I didn't know it was bombs or key anyway. Did I? I don't know if I... No, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so there's a the no trinket. I think I'm gonna pick that up. I, no, I won't, because I like the cancer one, what I'm talking about. And, and, um, there you see the, um, the eternal chest closed back up. And we can reopen it with another key to get more consumables out of it. And eventually it will, st um, you will open it and it will stay open and you, when you leave the room and come back it disappears so it's basically just over. So that's that I guess. Um, suddenly we're getting a lot of keys, I don't know what's going on with that. I mean yeah we did get the bombs or uh, key um, pill but still. Not quite sure what's going on with that, I mean I don't know. Our health is suddenly like very good as well. That was just bad. <laughs> Speaking of health, wow. Okay. Um, yeah. 
So this run, um, we already did greedier mode. I believe we did that before the latest booster patch, booster pack came out, and made it so you had to do greed mode first. I think I, we did that before, before that. Um, so other than that, I think we should do the dark room slash cathedral slash chest or whatever we have. I'm not really sure which one we can go to. I think the dark room was unlocked for us. Because I remember the negative, yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Smaller rock could get the tears up as well. I completely forgot about that. It is a slight speed down, but I think it's definitely worth it for the tears up and damage up. We're exactly seven damage. That's pretty, it's pretty insane. Well, not insane. It's pretty good. You know, it's pretty good. Um, so we're basically sort of just missing boss rush for up. I... Two minutes in a two and a half minutes, so you know, sort of just missing, but at the same time, kind of late. Uh, well, obviously, but you know, we missed it pretty much. Um, so yeah, I guess we have to do that another time, but it should be fine. You know, it's not impossible to do boss rush or reach it, and um, I should say. So okay. Um, so we did get that negative, so we definitely can go to the, um, shield, or, um, not shield, dark room. Um, with this item. So, let's definitely get to see. This is a terrible room. Actually not as bad as I- <laughs> You know, I really shouldn't talk. Actually not as bad as I thought it would be. As soon as it, like, in the middle of me saying that, I took damage. I really should not talk about that. About those things. Um, yeah, I guess that, I'm just getting that there. Okay, so yeah, I think say Tank Bible is definitely the correct decision um, in this case. Obviously, having the Bible will make the mom fights easier, but it doesn't seem like we're having too much of a um, hard time with those anyway, especially with the stuff we acquired throughout the run, being, you know, the tiers upgrades, the... <laughs> the um, numerous damage upgrades, etc, etc. Just uh, pushing us through this run to completion. We get Guppy's Collar as well, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. But we're 130 Guppy now, which is pretty nice to see. Um, guppy on a run is always fun and good to have. So, I'd like to see that happening. I don't see it happening though, cause, especially because we don't have um, go heads, so it doesn't guarantee a devil deal, a devil deal anyway, and that's probably like the main source of guppy items. I mean, obviously you can get them from like gold chests or red chests, you know, randomly popping up in the run, but devil deals are probably the main places you would acquire those items. Those guppy items, that is. Um, so yeah, it, de it definitely could still happen, of course, through the means of, you know, red chests and stuff, but again. Um, I didn't mean to go in here. Um, nope. <laughs> what is what is happening? Um, no, it definitely could still happen. All right. So, yeah. We also can make the hush fight if we go a little faster and make the um, correct decisions of what way to go. We also could try to go to the dark room right now, but I don't think that's I don't think that's a good idea. So I uh, miss out on. Um, devil deals and stuff, they could boost our damage more and more. Um, yeah. <laughs> what is going on? You walk into enemies left and right. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on with my brain. Um, death. Hope that doesn't, um, hope that's not foreshadowing anything. Foreshadowing anything, I can't speak. He went down relatively quickly, actually, so no Devil Deal, so no chance for yank up the item anyway. Uh, I think I'm gonna take ball bandages. Let's see, Miter or the shield thing I have, which I forgot the name of. Miter increases soul heart drops, or ch the chance of one dropping and replacing a red heart, I think. And uh, Trinity Shield, that's it. It blocks tears. I think I'm gonna take Trinity Shield if I plan on fighting Hush, because it's usually pretty good for that fight. And plus, we have to take Bible for Black Heart regeneration anyway. So I think that's a that's an okay decision. 
Alright. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um... So 26 minutes in, we have 4 minutes to get to the mom's heart fight and um, beat it. Definitely is doable if we pick the right direction. Um, but that's the whole thing. We have to actually beat beat the direction. No, find the um, correct way to go. We don't have any items like the treasure map or something like that, which would help us greatly in doing so. We have to, you know, do the old-fashioned way, so to speak. I have a feeling though. I have a feeling this is the right way though. I just have a just have a feeling. You know, just have a feeling the way I'm going right now is the obvious correct direction to achieve the mom's heart fight, or yeah, the room that was not what I meant to go to, of course. This is the room I meant to go to, of course, because I obviously know where I'm going. You see? <laughs> okay, to be honest, that was a complete guess. I had no idea where I was going. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we have three minutes to spare, a little less actually, but... Because uh, we actually got to beat the boss, as well as we got near a couple seconds after um, what three minutes it would have been, but anyway, it doesn't really pertain to a situation <laughs> at all. As long as we beat Mom's Heart in a reasonable time, we should be in the clear. Oh, that's, that's not what I want. That's not what I want to see. Uh, did we, we did get a uh, devil deal here. Hopefully we get two cuppy items. One cuppy item. That's half of what I said, so you're not you're not totally wrong. Um, yeah, this is the hush fight. I believe we've been down here before, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, this is the I guess we haven't. This is the hush fight. No, this is the hush floor. Um, called question mark question mark question mark or what is um, commonly referred to as the blue womb. Um, this is where you fight a hush. It's a pretty annoying boss, all things considered. Not many people really like to fight him. Um, but you obviously have to do it to get an achievement and be that close, that much closer to beating the game. So what I'm doing now, which I probably shouldn't have done in, any, um, in the first place, was um, I was trying to find uh, crawl space, which is probably not something I should probably be doing with like three bombs at the start of doing that. Um, yeah. PSG, Hematemesis, pretty good. I probably should have brought it in there actually, just just in case I got too low on health and I needed needed um, a little boost. Okay, so let's bomb this just for one extra thing. Bombs are key. Okay, but he, you know it was a last ditch effort. We could try to find a crawl space and get something good there. So that may have done something good for us. We don't get crawl space. That was basically it's basically a waste. But if we do, and it gives us something worthwhile, I will be eternally grateful. <laughs> and nothing there. Is there any rock? Are there any rocks in the shop? There are. Okay, I think I've gotten one in the shop before, so we're still we still can find something here. And we're back to where we started, um, bomb wise. I suppose we can donate actually, because donating gives you luck upgrades. We just got one earlier, like a second ago, and that increases the chance that Mom's Eye activates, which won't be as necessary on this fight just because you're usually facing the boss and not facing away from it. But you know, it could help with the flies that spawn from him um, after a little bit, but because uh, you can hit the flies and back. Or these guys, if you get somehow very close, but... Uh, this guy seems to be going down relatively fast, all things considered. I mean... Uh, I'm also prepared to, you know, die on this fight, because it's a pretty... It's a pretty tedious fight, all things considered. I mean, you know... We have these tiers coming out. It's basically just like a bullet... Bullet barrage. That's basically how I would describe this. And that's basically why I got Trinity Shield, because... It blocks incoming shots from the front. <laughs> And that could be a huge uh, lifesaver on this, literally. Okay. So yeah, be very focused. I've beaten this. I've done this fight before a couple times without taking any damage. 
Um, if you if you want to believe it, if you believe it. Um, it's a pretty annoying fight, but once you get the basic pattern down, it's not too bad. Um, it's basically just like these tiers, and then like, okay, that was dumb <laughs> on my part. Um, basically like these flies every once in a while, these tiers, also some continuum shots that go um, across the screen and like wrap back around the other side. It's not too bad of a fight, like, in the sense that you need to know like what's going on, but it's hard in the sense that it takes so long to do in that, in that time where you're... Um, it basically, it could be a situation where it takes so long that you could take damage. Um, but if it was a shorter fight, you probably wouldn't. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but basically it's an annoying fight. <laughs> That's basically the gist of what I'm saying. The concept of everything going on is pretty simple. I'm, I'm fairly, I'm pretty surprised, I'm fairly surprised that we're even halfway done with the fight at this point. I did not think it would be this, like, easy is not the right word, but this... Like, um, okay, here's the continuum of shots. These are, these are like the hardest part of the fight in my opinion, because you have to find like a sweet spot to stand. If you can't find that, you're basically getting hit every two seconds, but... Yeah, this is basically the hardest part of the fight in my opinion. I think I found a sweet spot too, so that's always nice to see. Um... But obviously when he moves, the continuum shots will also move where they are, so you can't just stand at the same, go back to the same spot and expect that to be a safe haven. At least I don't think. Okay, so this part can get pretty, can get, uh, pretty tricky. Also, if you can't tell, when he's down there, you can't hurt him. Oh no, I'm very scared here. <laughs> okay, I was thinking maybe if I face downward, the Trinity Shield would save me, but no such luck. Also, if you can't tell, Guppy would be a huge help on this fight, just because all these like um, all these mobs he spawns, these monsters, I should, these enemies, I should say, um, just a, a generic term, um, because you know when you hit an enemy that spawns a fly, and since there's so many enemies, you know how that goes. <laughs> a ton of flies to fight for you, to like crazy amounts of damage. So Guppy is definitely a big help on this one. So we're basically just like losing tons of health right now. I don't really mind too much just because it just seems like we're gonna win the fight regardless, not trying to be cocky. It just seems like, you know, we're in the clear pretty much. She's basically dead. We aren't taking damage nearly as fast as we would uh, need to be in order to lose. Also this attack. Um, <laughs> I say that, I take damage like two seconds after. I'm still gonna eat my words. Um, no, I hope there's a battery in the shop, because I actually wasn't paying attention to that, because if there is, or a solar for that matter, because I don't think I needed one on the way in, because we already had basically full health. Um, so if there's a battery or solar, I'm definitely going to buy that after this, I hope I don't forget to do that. I doubt I will, because he's basically dead. So that's... die, please. Also, when he dies, he it kills all the enemies on the screen. So that could be pretty nice. You have an enemy like, almost about to kill you, but if you kill him first, then all the enemies die. So that's definitely a really good thing to see. Just gotta kill him. There we go. As you saw, the elf, the elf disappeared. Eden's blessing is pretty basement. That's a really, really good item. It basically gives you a tears upgrade and also makes it so you start, no matter what character you are, with a random item on your next um, run. So if, say if you get it when you're like. Lazarus, and your next run is, you know, Kane. You start with a random item. So it's basically like an Eden item. It's, like, pretty good. When you see it, you, there's, like, no reason why you wouldn't want to pick it up, because it helps your next run, usually. It can give you a bad item, obviously, but... That's why it's called, that's why it's called the Eden's Blessing. <laughs> you know, it's a blessing of, like, an item, a random item, as Eden would have it, I'd imagine. <laughs> so there's no, um, soul hearts in there. Kind of a bummer. This is the void portal, which we probably don't want to do because the boss down there is kind of a pain. Plus, the floor is like very huge, and we need to run much better than this to actually beat the boss, uh, Delirium. So, definitely not today we're doing that, but in the future, definitely we're gonna do, uh, do the void floor. It's like a really annoying floor just because there's not a lot of 
um, incentive to go down there besides just getting the achievement. Because everyone knows you gotta do that floor for every character in order to get 100% um, of the game, but no one really... I mean, obviously there's probably some people, but at least I don't ever want to do that floor just for the fun of it. Unless it, my run's already good enough. Um, to the point where I could just crush everything anyway. But yeah, I don't really see that floor as a fun thing to do. It's more of just like a run killer unless your run's already really good. So yeah, that's that's just my uh, two cents on that situation. That floor is just not something I would like to do more than I would need to do to get the achievements at least. Okay, so for some reason my brain um, died and I went down, went up to the cathedral. I just noticed I had the negative and I went to the cathedral. Don't ask me why, but um, we obviously should have went to the dark room, but I suppose it's okay because we did get the hush done and we will be getting the cathedral done as well. So not all is lost. We just didn't get the dark room done this episode, um, which is okay. We still will get two completion marks done for the save either way. So it's not a good, complete loss at all. It's basically just like the same thing of what would happen. Obviously the dark room is a little bit harder than um, the cathedral. But um, it is still the same amount of, achie of achievement marks in the end. And that was, I, <laughs> I backed up into him. That's given the fact that we even beat the cathedral, which obviously, which, which I can see happening. Not the fact that we don't beat it, but the fact that we do beat it. <laughs> I um, feel like I should clarify on that one. <laughs> okay. We also can respawn as, well, our character again, because I've got these collar. But it's like a 50% chance, or like 25% chance. I'm not banking on that at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, but just in case we have to, you respawn with half a red heart. It's like a last ditch effort. So yeah, we better not get a hit anymore. I suppose we can go back to that. Or go get one here. Um, You know, I think I'm gonna try to find a secret room. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna donate this guy first. Try to get a health upgrade. Come on. Sorry to inform you, but that is a linger bean and not a health upgrade. Uh, sorry in case you were misinformed by people providing you with such beans, but, you know, that's just how it goes, I guess. Can't be providing people with linger beans when they ask for HP upgrades, that's for sure. You know what, I'm gonna use this. Boom. Aw, uh, I don't know if that was, you know, I don't know if that was too far. I'll place another one, just in case. Good thing I, good thing I checked. And that was well worth it, actually. That could save us the run. If we end up taking three hearts of damage, um, we would have died if we didn't come here. So, that very well could have been a run saver chest right there. Okay. Let's just... Actually, you know what? Let's do one more room. <laughs> that was a very bad idea. <laughs> Because I want to get the tank Bible charge, but it basically just <laughs> um, didn't give us anything. Besides, I guess if we get hit, it triggers the black heart effect, so we do a little bit of damage to Isaac. But other than that, it's basically just didn't really give us anything um, positive. Besides, like I said, the black heart is technically better. Well, not technically; it literally is better than a soul heart, but um, it doesn't really do much. To a boss, the damage outputs, let's just say that. Looks like we will kill Isaac though. Um, and that'll be that, I guess. To this day, I'm not quite sure what Linger Bean does. I know it leaves behind those cloud things you're seeing every once in a while on the screen, those brown clouds, but I'm not really sure what those do. <laughs> I really gotta look that up, because like, I look it up every once in a while just to see, just to remind myself what it does, but I always forget what it does when I actually pick it up. So, 
And when I said I look it up every once in a while, I don't mean like I recreationally look, look it up. I look it up when I pick it up every once in a while, but I don't like look it up for fun. A blank card is completed in the basement. Wow. Finally. <laughs> um, blank card is a really, really good active item. I'm sure you've heard if you've, if you've ever played this game. Um, slash have heard me say, talk about um, when I was playing uh, on the save file before. In um, older episodes, how I said that um, we should probably try to find blank card in the shop, but we didn't have it unlocked yet, but now we do, etc, etc. So, um, let's check our stats, just because, you know, this isn't really a special for the episode 50, but I kind of just want to check this just to see how we've been doing so far. Alright, so we have 32 deaths. Actually, less than I thought, <laughs> to be honest. 50 episodes in, 32 deaths. I mean, that's not like necessarily a good ratio, but then again we have done multiple runs in the same episode before, so... And also we have died multiple times the same episode before as well, so... Um, 360 items. I'm not sure how many items are in the game. Let me check, actually, because on my normal save, I think I pretty much have everything. Yeah, it's like 500-something, so we're well... Uh, well off from the... From the max there, but I don't have all items in my normal save, but I'm pretty much there. I'm like a couple items short. 154 secrets? Um, that's the achievements, I believe. So, so well a ways away from <laughs> almost 400 achievements. Um, five is our best streak. I believe the one on my non-recording profile is, well, yeah, 10. So it's basically half, it's not bad. Items, let's see. Still a ton to pick up. Wow. Yeah, still quite a ways, quite, still quite a ways away, but we'll make it eventually. Bestiary has basically all the items you, all the items, all the enemies you fought, as well as well as the bosses. How many times you killed them? How many times they killed you? Have they seen them? Their HP? Whatever. <laughs> um, the secrets, you know, ending. That's all the all these things we haven't seen. Fourteen or I believe fourteen is the dark room. But anyway. Getting off topic here. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, that's the second, or the win streak one, right? Because we lost the episode, last episode. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And see you guys next time.